we're gonna find out what's new at the zoo. What's your favorite animal? What is new at the zoo? I have not seen the pandas. Oh, you so haven't. So I would like to see the pandas. I love the little zebra guy. Well, those are pretty guys, pretty big guys behind us. And uh, when we were up in uh, Watson Lake, way up in the Yukon, uh, we had a chance to see some of these guys uh, while we were on our motorcycle, uh, which is pretty amazing because uh, they're pretty close. <laughs> so and big. <laughs> and big. So what you'll find is these guys. You'll find one of these guys every once in a while, either in a town or out on a hill or out in a field. And basically these are uh, the male buffaloes that uh, are not part of the herd because they kicked them out. Bachelor buffaloes? They're bachelor buffaloes, <laughs> that's right. And they're looking for bachelorettes. And so watch for those scout buffaloes because you will find them. You will see them up on a ridge, out in a field, uh, and they're pretty big and amazing to look at. We had a really cool experience out in Saskatchewan. Kent's cousin owned a herd of buffalo, I think yeah. about 50 head. And uh, it was pretty cool. One of the benefits of owning buffalo as opposed to cattle are that they're maybe a little smarter. They're hardier. Anyway. Hardier. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool because they can. Well, what are some of the benefits of them? In the winter buffalo time, versus a cow. In the winter time, you don't have to uh, bring water to them, and uh, num that's that's the biggest thing. And number two, calving is easy yeah. uh, for buffalo. They do that by, on their own. Yeah. And a cool experience we had while we were out there is David went out to feed the buffalo, yeah. the herd, and he would drive his truck out there and we were just sitting in the back of the truck and of course the buffalo recognized the sound of it and as soon as he got to the feeding area, they just all stampeded oh my straight goodness. towards the truck. And I'm sitting back there, you can feel the ground feel shaking, the thunder. hear the thunder. I'm thinking if that fence wasn't there, well actually the fence probably wouldn't stop them anyway if they wanted to go through. Thankfully they stopped and they were right at the fence and it was, it was just a really exhilarating experience to watch those buffalo come straight at the truck. So I'll show you a couple of buffalo uh, clips that I uh, collected one while I was on uh, the motorcycle. We also saw them in Yellowstone too. So yes, always see buffalo in Yellowstone. That's it's pretty, great. Pretty standard out there for sure. But check this guy out before he before he stop. He's like right there. Yeah, he's coming <laughs> to see what we're doing.
going into the Savannah building. Follow me. I've got the power. Porcupines? Yeah. But I think they've all had some NyQuil. <laughs> they can? Yeah. These guys over here? Yeah. They're hogging the bed. And then if there's any kind of danger, they'll swim back into their mother's mouth and then back out and then back in for quite a long time. So it's always fun to watch those those babies in our tank and they breed really easily. So super fun African cichlid.
<laughs> We're like facing directly into the sun. This is true. Huh? There you go. It was way up there. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> I like the zoo. I like the zoo. The zoo's great. It's, it's a nice place to walk around. It's a big chair. Yep. Yeah.